friends in this video i will show you how to export autocad entities details to microsoft excel by using data extraction data extraction is very powerful command in autocad in this drawing i have organized blocks lines circles boundary line and points each of them i will export to excel by using data extraction and you can download this drawing from the link below in my video description for your exercise here i have exported these attribute blocks to the microsoft excel by using data extraction and i'll show you how to export this by using data extraction and after extracting to excel if you want to show this in your drawing you can do so very quickly select this one and copy ctrl c and paste in your drawing it's very small let me scale up okay after placing this oily in this drawing and if you want to click edit right button select right button and oily open now you'll get open and for example if you want to change this point id is thing thing then just close it then you can see this updated okay first we can export this attribute block and this block as point number and this like attribute if you don't know how to create a attribute blocks I'll, I'll upload another video about this subject soon first let me open the properties window and i'll show you what we are going to export if i select this we have position x and position y the point number so we are going to export x and y and the point number to the excel type dx for the data extraction then choose this data extraction and next and here we need to save a style but it's not so important so just save anything in your desktop or documents it's not so important okay just saying and now if you want to select all all the entities in this drawing you can choose this one or you can select only the objects what you want to export this is the second one is the best option otherwise if your drawing is very heavy it will take some time so my preference is select objects in the current drawing and just click on this icon and now you can select whatever the entities you want to export to excel okay now i'm going to select these blocks then press spacebar then go to next now we want to export this point block so we can remove circle attribute polylines keep only what we want to export it's the block name point block now we can remove this miscellaneous general and others we need only geometry and attribute because we are going to export position and attribute value which is point number okay from here we need to choose only the percent x and y z we are not going on this session i'll show you when we are going to export point or circle position x y and this attribute value okay now we don't want this count and name to export excel so let me remove this ticks now we need to sort this as per the point number so just click on here so one two three in that order next and here you have two options one you can insert this table as an autocad table to the same drawing or you can export to the excel now i'm going to select export to excel and another sessions i'll show you how to import as a table choose where you want to save i'm just going to save in documents and if you want to copy this you can copy or you can go to the location and open from there next finish okay now we will get a message here that uh, exported now i'm going to open that one let me open the run and paste the path here and okay or else you can go direct to the location open from there okay here it is exported point number and the x and y position if you want some modification from here in excel you can do so 
okay now we can see how to export lines uh, i'll show you what we are going to export to excel from this line okay, we have different colors and uh, different lengths so we need to see what color and what is the length in excel so this for example this color is red and uh, you can see the length so we want to export all this okay i'll show you same type dx and next as usual if you have this previously created dxc you can choose or you can do new one it's not uh, so important okay and select object this the second options current drawing okay select and here we select line okay and there are many information we don't want everything here we select color and length okay next and we don't want the count and name so remove those here you can see magenta green red yellow and each one color so now i'm going to import this as an autocad table to the current drawing so i'm choosing this first option before we export it to the excel but now we are going to insert as a autocad table okay let me place somewhere here it's very small let me scale up a little bit okay you can see here we have circles with the different radius and if you want to export this circle to data extraction you can choose dx and you can choose what you want to export or maybe you want to export radius and center point x y you can do same same this method so i don't want to repeat this and let me go to boundary lane if you have any boundary lane in your project and you want to get all this vertex coordinate and maybe you want to total length or you want you can export it this one you have current vertex if you click here you will get current vertex highlighted with this cross mark and here are the coordinates for that point and you go to it will change you can see this changing and it's showing the coordinate. We need to export all those coordinates to Excel. So this polylane, but we have to export this one because polylane doesn't have many options to export Excel. Explode. Okay. Now all these are separate lanes. DX. Let me select all of these lanes. now we need to get all vertices points select only geometry and here we have end point x y z and start point x y z we can select only end or start otherwise we will get overlap for example this lane has start end if we are going to explore this start end and this lane also start end so this lane end and this lane start will be same point so here will be overlap so better export any of this and now i'm going to choose start x and start y remove everything here angle if you don't want to angle you can go back and remove you will get x and y all of these vertices point you can export you know how to export so i'm just going to cancel and go to the another session points this points show you has x and y and z value so we are going to export let me type dx select next point and we are going to only geometry xyz okay remove as usual we have xyz and some of this point are zero values and some other values so all we can export now it is exported and let me open here you can see our exporter Thank you for watching my this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like this video and share with your friends and colleagues.